Since 1997, San Mateo Powell has provided recreational, educational, and leisure activities at little or no cost to thousands of San Mateo youth. This year, Powell celebrates its 20th anniversary as a striving nonprofit organization, continuing to build the bond between cops and kids. Join me for a trip down memory lane to see where we started, where we've been, and where we are going. I feel like new sunglasses, like a brand new pair of jeans. I feel like taking chances. I feel a lot like 17. Like when I close my eyes Like making big mistakes I feel like for the first time in a long time I am not afraid I feel like a kid Never thought it'd feel like this Like when I close my eyes When I close my eyes A Bay Area soccer team is changing lives one practice at a time. Lisa, like most Bay Area cities, San Mateo has its share of gang violence. And one police officer here who is dedicated to getting kids out of gangs says getting them on the soccer field is making a difference and making the neighborhood safer. I would be driving down the street and I would see a kid that I would know would be gang affiliated and I'd say, hey, come with me or meet me at the high school. Giovanni Martinez says gang life was the only game he knew. My uncle and my cousin were the game bangings, so. He agreed to play, but resisted the coach's game plan. Over the years, trust grew, but off the field, trouble brewed. Martinez got kicked out of school and thrown in jail after a gang fight. But his new soccer family stepped up. Martinez says lessons of respect and setting goals he learned on the field are now part of his life, a goal that means a lot more than winning the game. Police officers on the peninsula have traveled far and wide searching for a solution to San Mateo County's growing problem of gang violence. 
San Mateo police came up with a plan. Following the recent success of a soccer program for Latino youth, the Police Activities League found something that connected Tongan kids with their culture. But instead of fighting, these kids are going to battle in a sport popular in their homeland, rugby. To be on the rugby team, the kids have to attend study groups and stay out of trouble. One by one, their lives are turning around. A unique team in the Police Activities League is providing some hope for teenage girls in San Mateo. Police say it's moving them away from troubled lives, and it's all about making the right steps, as Maureen Naylor shows us in tonight's special report. Missteps are easy. Yeah, Trina. These dance students are learning how to avoid missteps and how to rebound from those inevitable problems in life that can trip you up. We've had a few gang-related fights where weapons were used and the suspects turned out to be girls. Seeing that rise in violence, the Police Activities League started the hip-hop team. And here with Pal, you know, these girls are able to come in here and they get to learn so much. How you doing? Chief Susan Manheimer spends part of every Saturday at Jennings Studio. But the Chief's real goal is to expand horizons. I guess I've seen throughout my entire career that we really can't change lives one life at a time. And when we do that, there's no greater gratification. Dancers like to say dancing is like dreaming with your feet. It's hoped the steps they learn here will lead them to dream big. My name is Natalie Robles, and I joined PAL in 2000 when I was about 11 years old. As a preteen, I was raised in a single parent household and I was lacking a lot of positive influences and because of that my mom was having a difficult time raising me on her own. The Police Activities League provided fun, safe activities with other kids my age who I could relate to and the officers that were involved served as mentors and role models to us. My mom would always say that enrolling my brother and I in the Police Activities League was the best decision that she had ever made. In 2014, she passed away, but her proudest moments of me involved PAL. PAL gave me the influence that I needed to keep me on the right path, and the unconditional support from all the individuals that are involved with their belief in me is what made it possible for me to reach my full potential. My name is Julian Jolivet, and this is my mom, Jeanette Ramirez. I uh, started the PAL program in 1997. The organization PAL um, helped me because as a single mom that was going through a divorce and I, I knew I wanted to continue my education but I didn't have that organization that would help me. PAL was doing amazing things for children and so I thought, you know, what a better place to trust than an organization that has police officers that would go out, do homework with, their chil with, with our children um, take them to fun activities, be with them after school, encourage them to do their best. Um, we were very lucky. Being a single mom, we didn't have other men around, so I depended a lot on the police officers that would help me. I am Natalie Robles, lead physician assistant at Olympia Medical Center Emergency Department, and I'm a PAL kid. I'm Officer Julian Jolivet with the San Mateo Police Department, and I'm a PAL kid. With your support over the past 20 years, San Mateo PAL has grown from running a baseball program out of an officer's garage to a strong, comprehensive, nonprofit organization. Our founders got together with a vision to break down the barriers within our community and provide outreach and programming to build the bond between cops and kids. Our programs reach youth in need, those who may be at risk, who are vulnerable, and those who are experiencing the pressures of adolescence. In other words, every child. PAL is a friend, mentor, ally, and advocate. 
Your continued support and belief in what we are doing allows us to focus on those who need it, giving our kids the attention, experiences, and the life skills necessary to make them productive members of our community. On behalf of the San Mateo Police Activities League and the youth we serve, we thank you. As you can see, over the past 20 years, Howe has provided mentorship to the youth we serve on a daily basis, building a stronger, safer community for all. When you need help, you call 911. When cops respond and find a child in need or a family in crisis, they call Howe. We really are only one call away.